Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, today I'm going to do another gear review, and it's going to be of the Nature Hike Clover Peak 2. <laughs> So I ordered this tent um, Christmas Eve and uh, thought I'd treat myself for Christmas and I got it from uh, AliExpress. Um, now I know a few people have uh, had this tent. Um, spoken to uh, Gordon, Shropshire lad, uh, before, he, uh, before I purchased it um, and he was raving about it. I've said Sean Explorers has got one, I think Paul Messon has got one. Um, and I've, I've sit him in there and I'm thinking it, it, it's the perfect winter tent for me. Um, I've got the Lansham 2 at the minute. Um, I did have the Banshee 200 but I sold that to make the money to buy this one. Um, thinking it's got a lot more room. The Banshee I can't sit up in so obviously being a tall lad it's not great. So um, right I'm going to give this as well and get it set up. So uh, wish me luck. There we have it. Luckily, I've got a biggish living room. <laughs> Pull this off the back a bit. There we go. There it is. That is huge. So, it's got, oh, it's, there. it's got two vestibules, which is one here and the other one on the other side. Um, it's got the canopy on the top which I know um, David Boy Girls Wild has done some uh, modifications to this to um, make sure that the bungees don't move and, and whatever else and then it doesn't flap around. So um, might have to have a look at them videos. Once we've got it set up in the garden, obviously it's been peeing down all day today. So um, I've had to set it up in the house. We always have to do a house setup before we do anything else, don't we? So um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, show you the inside. Right, so that's the inside in the vestibule. There's loads of room in there. Loads of room, about two two foot probably say about there and uh, it's got a mesh sorry a mesh top and like a like the tent material halfway up as well so it, it'll keep you slightly more warmer and then you have obviously got some ventilation here if it gets too uh, too hot and we'll open the window and just sleep like that if it's, uh, if it's dry enough but uh, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit through that. The bathtub's quite big. That's that high. Um, it's exactly the same on the other side. But um, the weight of it is only uh, 2.6 grams. Um, which is not light, but it's not heavy. But I can I can carry that. Obviously, compared to my land sham, which is only like a a kilogram 
Um, but the, po the poles, are, all the poles just clicked into place. I just literally took them out. Had to watch the TV. So I just had a new TV for Christmas. Um, yeah, I've been, it's literally took up my living room. Shocking. But uh, I've been outside in a field or in a, in a garden. It looked pretty small. So um, the poles all clicked into place. They're light as a feather. Aluminium. So that's why they're light. Uh, yeah, the dimensions are 210 centimeters by 105 centimeters. The fly is two and is 20 d nylon. The inner is polyester mesh. The floor is 20 d nylon, and the color is dark green. And it's a four season tent. So the zips, you've got like two doors in theory. You've got the zip that goes from the top to the bottom here and you've got the zip that comes across here all the way to the edge there and that goes all the way around as well so this opens up completely which is brilliant especially if it's on a hot day you can uh, you can let a lot of air in and obviously you've got that door there as well so when you want to make a brew in the morning you haven't got to open all this up it's got a little door there put your stove on the go there make yourself coffee but uh, right let's go inside and have a look oh, that's excuse it's a bit dark in here um, Loads of headroom. There you go. Loads of headroom. Look. And that's all mesh at the top. That's all mesh there. That's mesh and that's mesh. That's mesh. That's mesh. So basically, everything above here is all mesh. Um, got a hook for your light. What I do like about it, especially this side, is you've got a big pocket there. So you can keep all your belongings off there, or if you, if some of people do take tablets or whatever, you could probably put your tablet in there and, and watch a film. Um, you've got your tie backs here. You can see that? And you've got one on the other side, obviously, for this door. Like I said about opening the doors up. There you go, look, you can just get yourself under there, make yourself a brew. That's it, get back in your sleeping bag. Brilliant. Um, just trying to see if there's any more pockets. Let's turn them around. Another one, another pocket there, look. For you. And that's all you get. So you get that pocket and the one I've just showed you. So um, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this. Loads of room in it. I'm sorry, I'm six foot one and <clears throat> stone. And uh, oh, what loads of room! Look, if you can see, you can't see me, can you? There you go. Loads of room in there. I sent my word for it, but uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, it's a freestanding tent. And you put the poles go into those little hook into there and then you've got your toys for your pegs there and then you've also got another peg there and the same again and then you just build it up with these build all these up so you just go around and do the same level come back to the same level and go round and round and round. Um, it does come as well off AliExpress. It does come with a footprint. Now, I, I said a comment off Gordon the other day, Shropshire Lad, and he says that he's bought a Lansham One footprint to cover the vestibule area. 
which obviously makes sense because if it's raining at least you can get your stuff dry because um, so this must only cover the base of the actual inner tent so that might be something to look at for look into uh once i get it up here and get out in it um i know gordon went out in uh in the shropshire hills um i can't remember where he went now i think it was care caradoc and it was a snow one and he, he said it was he was sound as a pound to me so i kind of sold it for me when i wanted to get one um I know with AliExpress at the minute they are doing a um, a seventeen pound charge. Um, I don't know if it's all of them, but when I ordered this, I had an email saying off the NHL that you need to pay a seventeen pound charge, which is crap. But I paid one hundred and twenty pound for this. I think it was plus the for seventeen pounds. So that's one hundred and thirty seven pound. They're going for two hundred odd on eBay. So. I think Aliexpress is the place to go. So all these gear reviews that I do, all this gear that I show, I don't get any money back off anybody. I don't get any free gifts, nothing like that. It's just me buying my equipment, what I think will suit best for whatever camp I do. Um, and I just want to share it with you guys. You know, I think it's uh, it helps people make a decision. Um, might not be great at doing these reviews. I like doing them. I like opening my, my items. The first time I've opened it up. Um, and I'd just like to share it with you lot and see what you think. But um, absolutely chuffed a bit through that. I really am. Pegs for these. And I'm really light. Really light. Uh, and you've got spare guy ropes. And lots of pegs. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pegs, I think it is. That should be plenty enough for what you need. And again, there's no weight to them. So the weight is 2.6 kilograms. Um, and the pack size is probably just the length of a, of a rucksack. I have fitted it in my Exos 48. Um, and it fits perfect in there. I've got room for sleeping bag, cooking gear, spare clothes, everything. So um, it will fit in a 48 and you can get the rest of your gear in it. So it's definitely uh, definitely probably the tent of the year for me. Um, it's been one of two tents. Like I said, I've got the Lan Shan turn now. I've got this one. I don't think I'll be having any more tents because I think the missus will be chucking me out of voice. But... Um, I've got my tarps and I've got bivvies, so whatever kind of camp I'm ready to do, I've got my tarp if I want to do a tarp tent, I've got my uh, bivvy if I just want to sleep, and I've got my hammock and tarp, so I'm happy. Um, but yeah, just the risk with this. Just show you around once more. Absolutely spot on. Chuffed two bits. Alright then, I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. I probably haven't set it up right while looking at this. I think that should be in line with the with the pole, but the small space I've got to do it, you know. I just wanted it set up and have a look at it and there's no problems with it. So I definitely recommend it. Um obviously check out uh David Boy Goes Wild, check his channel out to do the uh, modifications for the bungees and the poles to stop the poles going. Um, also, Gordon put them on his video as well, so check Shop for that, Shop Shall Add his videos out. Um, go and check his channel. Um, that's it, guys. Just want to say thanks for watching. Um, I might be doing a couple more gear reviews this week. Um, I am working, but something to do on an evening listen feel like being in my gear i'm uh getting my gear out and checking it all feel like i'm i'm out doing it it's uh it's crap not being able to go out but still so um that's 
just want to say thanks for watching um, this is uh, Adam T Outdoors signing off <laughs>